Can your child athlete see obstacles as opportunities to succeed? Coach Nye here, Mind Over Sport. Thanks for taking a minute with me today. Beautiful day out. Thought I'd enjoy it out on the deck. Uh, morning coffee with my dog. And if you hear other sounds, that's great. Be grateful that we have a beautiful day like today. I got that question asked to me from a couple of coaches recently on when, it, when kids have obstacles, do they see them as opportunities to grow? And I came, answered them, I came back with an answer to them. Uh, basically, there was five things that I thought of that I coach to the young athlete that will help them see obstacles as opportunities. One is the, the, uh, to embrace emotions, first and foremost. Um, how can we teach our young athlete uh, about themselves? What rises in us when we encounter challenges? Is it fear? Is it the unknown? Is it, is it being um, scared of certain things, helplessness? When your child or young athlete encounters obstacles, help them identify how they feel. Help them understand their emotions. Be quick to listen and not to speak is another point that I point out to coaches and, and, and parents as well. Listen to what and observe what's going on with the player and be less quick in answering and helping them understand things. Let them explore. Let them uh, ask questions and allow, the, allow them to, to, in the space to sort out their problems as much as possible before you give advice. Celebrate grit, not accomplishment. What I mean by that is there's always going to be children that will succeed, but they think to win or to succeed, you need to win. And that is not always the case. Um, we want to let players and athletes observe their opportunities and help them understand that sometimes those opportunities come from losses, from failures. And we need to understand and help them face those obstacles and have a better opportunity later on. Modeling healthy risk taking. You know the old saying, do as I say, not what I do. Um, doesn't always mean, you know, of course that reality is the exact opposite. We as coaches, as parents, uh, are role models. We also are examples. Kids observe tremendously a lot. So if you're a coach and you're hot tempered, um, have to get your point across and you have to be right you may not have as much falling from players as if you were determined but also understanding and were allow players a little bit of room to adjust um, you know they look at yourself as you know something simple as uh, when you're in the rink and you approach the other coach before a game and wish them luck good sportsmanship they see that and they learn from that lastly it's discussing success and failure or debriefing uh, sometimes your kids will conquer the obstacles other times they won't so debriefing after the experience talk about what they're learning what they're seeing what they're feeling how they failed or succeeded, what would they do differently next time? See, the briefing the f after failures or success is the key tool in coaching, in my opinion, to help athletes understand their experiences and to learn from them. Just some quick points on, on how young athletes can learn from opportunities and grow from them. Again, thanks for joining me and I appreciate you 
enjoying the outside with me today. Remember, be determined out there and be the, willing to change and be the change. Bye for now.